Oh! Oh, dude, you're supposed to share it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I need this shit to get through this. This is like the ninth match in a row we've done. Come on! People are going to think I literally just wear this and nothing else. Um, You should see my shower. <laughs> <laughs> No idea why I'd say that, but I did. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the rest of our YouTube channel. Right here is the one of our watch-alongs. What we do for watch-alongs is that we watch a random match. It could be great. It could be amazing. It could be shit. It could be subpar. It could be average. It could be a big, fat, steaming afterbirth. But we won't know until we've watched it. Of course, if we know the people involved in it, we kind of know it's going to be great. Shout out to our amazing, legendary friend, Sky Smithson. Well, I say friend, she probably say dickheads, and that's absolutely fine too. <laughs> Please don't kill us, Scott. Um, this is DBW Judgment Day 2020. Robbery. <laughs> I'm surprised Vince hasn't contacted. Judgment Day, I'll give you Judgment Day, you fat piece <laughs> of shit. Um, this is an Anarchy Championship match. It's from Dominating Backyard Wrestling. Uh, that's what DBW obviously stands for. Mm -hmm. And this was selected by Kyle Wilkinson. So if it's awful, I'm mm -hmm. coming for you. <laughs> um, by the way, Caleb Cross, not Carrion Cross, is part of this match. Uh, the returning Caleb Cross and the high flyer RJ Carnage um, against, uh, yeah, the DBW Anarchy Champion. Oh, it's uh, is it supposed to be triple threat or tag? I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, no. I <sighs> No fucking clue. All I know is it's a bunch of goobers trying to wrestle in someone's backyard. Should be a laugh. Carl Wilkinson, are you ready? Hell yeah. In three, two, one, play. Ooh, hello. A little bit of graphic design. Someone hasn't done a very good job, by the way, of photoshopping out the uh, burning... Uh, burning. Ooh. Okay, here is Matt Havoc, RJ Carnage, Caleb, <laughs> Caleb Cross. <laughs> Fair play, at least they've tried. Match graphic and all that. Like, it's not the best I've seen. It's certainly not the worst. Do you know what? I've seen British independent shows that charge good money for people to come in who have worse graphics than that. I'm just saying. Can I just say loving the pumpkins entrance way? Although we don't get to see much of it because apparently our videographer is very excited by the concept of grass. Yeah. Wow. It's actually not the worst fucking entrance way I've seen either. That's a that's a good looking little banner, a little setup they got there. They've obviously spent a little bit of money. I mean, fair play to them. Mum's obviously got a little bit of an allowance for them. Get up on your feet! <laughs> Get up on your feet! He's wearing a Punisher t-shirt. Yeah, tell me about it. Wow. Okay. Um, this crowd, mate. Jokes. Ladies and gentlemen, the first participant there's, there's always like one guy there who is there like 10 people there on my imagining things I'm, ass I'm assuming there's some people on the other side we just couldn't see them um i don't think there i don't think there is is it oh I no, there isn't. It's just the uh, announced position. <laughs> this might be the smallest crowd I've ever seen. And bearing in mind, I wrestled my debut in front of about 20 people, and I thought that was pretty poor. But <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> have you noticed how all the backyard wrestlers have really shit, stupid names like Carnage, Hellacious? Is he all right? Oh, he's been on eBay and bought himself a little mask. He said, I, I do like the tombstones, by the way. This is obviously Halloween. He's coming out to fucking the nightmare before Christmas. The girl, the first, the, the, the woman, um, at the the first person that they see um, near the nearest the entrance always really fit. That's all I have to tell this man. It feels like it's weird because it's like backyard wrestling, but they're in a um, like it seems like a really nice suburban neighborhood. Yeah, like it's <laughs> look at him. I'm fucking hardcore. <laughs> He's such an edge lord. <clears throat> What's with the dubstep? Um, dubstep, dubstep remix of a Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> Wow, I actually just had an aneurysm. I'm pretty sure of it. 
in Infinity, none others than the DBW Anarchy Champion. Oh, yeah? Yeah! <laughs> you don't say? Okay. <laughs> this is awful. This is awful. Oh, oh. <laughs> Step away from oh, the fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> That might be the worst entrance in the history of wrestling. Yeah, that Plague Doctor mask was uh, pretty bad. Why is the guy behind the camera having an orgasm? Because <laughs> you're right, is he having a wank? Is that ball? He's forgotten where he is. He's like, oh, yeah. Oh, oh shit, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Sake. Wow. I mean, we have watched way too much good wrestling, so I know why you picked this. Is this the alternative to a palate cleanser? He looks like he's five. Is this the palate wrecker? They all look five, to be honest. That's fair. He looks like the guy in the somewhat... It's kind of weird, because they have somewhat wrestling gear. Yeah. Like, I've been to professional shows with very high-end names that have guys who look like it's on it. You know, the high flyers who do, like, the pre-show match or whatever. Actually, I do remember so correctly, this is going to be his first uh, defense right here tonight. Kick pads are really expensive. So the fact that these guys have actually gone out and bought proper kick pads, or at least guy in the red ass, is um, just jokes, really. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Anarchy Championship match up here. It is on the line. I like how in the background there's a play slide and a trampoline. So, yay, wrestling. Yay. There's like 15 people here, Max. Yeah, and that includes like all the crew. <laughs> it's just like people's parents, isn't it, who don't give a fuck, but have been roped into coming to watch. Um, is the commentator all right? Is he having a seizure? I feel like he didn't really take enough abuse to warrant rolling out of the room. No, they pushed him out. Come on, man. They pushed him out. And he fell like the six inches to the ground. I can't believe this is 18 minutes long. I feel like I'm going to regret this. Oh, oh he's dying in those four. And that's... Shut your mouth. The kid, the kids, the, the people who you'd expect to make noise, they do not give a fuck. One of them's playing Candy Crush over there. <laughs> It's weird, isn't it, to think like Will Ospreay started with backyard stuff like this. Oh, actually? Yeah, yeah, legit. So, you know, I don't think they recorded as much. CM Punk, he started with backyard, Seth Rollins. You know, like, we, you know, we we know about stuff about them, but they, they opted to actually pay money to get trained properly after that. In fact, obviously, that's the difference. Like, we know the Hardys did. Like, we've seen, like, the Hardys back in. Yeah. It's kind of like being romanticized, hasn't it? Like this idea of, oh, I was in my backyard and Mick Foley dived off the roof of his house and all that. But for every romantic story about your wrestling, there's about a thousand of them that are like this, where it's a bunch of either rich little snotty kids who mummy and daddy bought a wrestling ring for, or, you know, fucking God knows what kind of Egypt, like <laughs> from some meth head lab. State of the referee, by the way. I don't think he wants any of that havoc. Oh no, there we go. He goes in for a lockup, ladies and gentlemen. Caleb Cross. Caleb Cross. Still more over than carrying Cross on Raw, it has to be said. Well, that's what happens when you're uh, again. What, when you dress like sexy, sexy domination bondage time? Yeah. Demolition sexy bondage, man. <laughs> Fucking awful. Oh, what's this commentator doing? Can you hear? He's talking so fast. Yeah. 
scale across. Looks like you're gonna throw him right off the ropes. Hits the rope. And oh, looks like that goes for it. Oh no. I thought it was gonna be a sidewalk, but it's not. Oh, that's actually really nice. And he held on. Although, to be fair, he weighs what? Two stone. Oh, that was a nice little sidewalk. Jesus! Oh! The fucking air that guy got. To be fair to that rap, he goes in for the slide. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. So we gotta get like a Aaron Cruz match up in here at some point, just cause. Good news for you, Aaron Cruz's title match against Lukachu for the Quality Showcase drops in but a few days. We're, we're going to watch it. I don't even care if he knows we're going to watch it. We're going we to watch it. I don't want to give him props. He's such a little dickhead. He won't watch this. Fuck Aaron Cruz. <laughs> Fuck him. I would like to hope he watches these. He you does. Shithead. Yeah, you shit. <laughs> I want to see Carl Wilkins whip Aaron Cruz's tiny little fucking British white ass. I'm going to fuck me up a fuck boy. I just love it if you just came into the locker room and started fucking face palming and backhanding all the fuck boys, Cam and Jack and everyone. Like, listen up, fuckers. Just <laughs> slapping the shit out. Of I don't think I could take all of them at once. Oh, I don't know. They're all a bunch of fucking pussy holes, mate. Okay, <clears throat> Cam likes to think he's hard because he's been bulking up. I swear down, I will slap the fucking taste out of that boy's mouth. He swears up. Hey, but that's easy for me to say. I am a fucking legit Leviathan. Also, you see, you've seen my Instagram where I give him the old Cairo effects. They love that shit. The old fucking modified tour of the islands. Oh, double DDT on the hardest part of the ring. That was actually quite savage. I quite like that. It's easy to do when the apron's at your fucking shins. This commentator is fucking jokes. Like, <laughs> 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 Fucking hell. Tell you what, the sky looks lovely. <laughs> Jesus Christ, getting up of a run up for that, did you? The champion is down. RJ, Boom, RJ, Boom, Boom, RJ Boom. You can't fault them for effort. One more time. That head's cracking open. We might see. Might see some blood. Might see some blood today. Some blood. Might see some blood. That was a pretty sick little uh, kick. That was. Yeah. Kind of like a. Oh my god, that was a beautiful Van Daminator, that's it. Because the Van Terminator is the coast to coast. Oh, look out. Oh, I thought he's going to go for the... Uh, is he going for the um, Sister Abigail? Oh, no, he's going for the Hammerlock. Oh, that was sick. That was well good. He sold it like a G as well. Spikes himself. Fucking well good. Mate, Andrade is singing your praises right now, fam. Yeah, we'll be sure to let him know to watch this after he's done his night with Charlotte. The, uh, yeah. <laughs> the, <laughs> the fucking Hammerlock DDT. That is starting to become like the sling blade. Everyone's robbing it because it looks so good. Until it gets, oh, hello. He has the back. Oh, my God, he's got the back. Oh, he's got the back. Oh, he's got to hit him over the head. Oh, my God. Oh, no. 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 Oh, Shouldn't the ref source of his powers move that? I feel like as the ref, it's your responsibility to make sure that's not in the way. Can I just say the referee's wearing shoes? And I think that's really fucking jokes. What the fuck was the ref doing there? Do you see that? <laughs> just any excuse to move. That is I bet that referee's got ADHD. Not that that's anything to joke about, by the way. I have a lot of friends who have ADHD. I guess it's a triple threat, so you can do this. That is true, yeah. Oh, I just say that, ladies and gentlemen. Well, <laughs> what, all five of them? <laughs> they have not moved inside. The, the bird in the middle, right, who slouched over to the left-hand side. I thought she was asleep. She genuinely is the most apathetic wrestling fan I've ever watched. <laughs> she has no fucking... Oh, no. Hello. 
No. no. Oh, that was oh, actually pretty sick. He's really good at selling this kid. Like, if I saw this, I'd be like, mate, get down to a wrestling store. Because you can actually sell like a job. <laughs> See what I mean? Even that, where it's like, but he got that beautiful. This is actually quite good, dare I say. Not that bad. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say it's good, but I'm going to say it's not bad. It's warming up. It's warming yeah. up. Like, this you is know. New Japan backyard wrestling. Yeah, yeah that's crush. <laughs> you got to build to the crescendo. You got to get the people invested. Big lariat. Vicious clothesline onto the ground. No. <laughs> They're in a wrestling ring. There is no such thing as the ground. <laughs> what does Caleb Cross it's have the to canvas, do you fuck. What does Caleb Cross have to do to get over? Probably about as much as Carrion Cross. Oh, come on, mate. Lay him in. <sighs> yeah, this is the problem with small wrestlers. They don't lay their shit in because they're just building up to a high spot. Oh, that's a second slide right there. RJ Carnes going to the other like corner where, where Havoc is going. And, oh, Flying back elbow. <laughs> I like the sail there. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Oh, RJ Carnes going right for him. Ref, move. Come on, lads. You're both small. Let's see some sliced bread number two. Exactly. Where the fuck are the 450s? Lovely suplex. I think this kid's got wicked potential. Oh, what a bowl. This fucking kid's well good. Why are you fucking wasting your time in this scrub bullshit? Go to a training school, fam. You'd be so sick. I bet I wouldn't be surprised if in 10 years' time you see this guy wrestling for GCW or something. Oh, fuck. Fucking gorgeous. There's no way he hasn't had a little bit of training, right? Oh, yeah. They, 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 it certainly looks like it. He seems to actually have adopted some sort of technique. If he's self-taught, I mean, to be fair, it, it wouldn't surprise me if he owns the ring or something, because if you've got the chance to just work in a ring, like, I'm not going to tell you that being self-taught is the best thing ever, because it's not, but you can learn stuff if you're studious enough, if you pay attention to what you're watching enough. You can teach yourself a lot of wrestling maneuvers, especially spots by yourself in a ring. This is awesome. This is awesome. Yeah, the announcers can't start this a This is awesome, awesome chant. That's awesome. fucking cancer. Awesome. 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 That, awesome. if anything, that ruins the fun we're having. Oh, nice. He really commits himself to everything, this kid. It's RJ Carnage, isn't he? He's the one that we're. Isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's like in the black trunks. Uh, he's probably a reason why he's. Isn't is he the champion or is it the guy in red? Who's the, champion? the guy in red's the champion. Oh, okay, okay. Well, he should be champion because it's better. <laughs> That's really hard to do. I've tried to do that. That is really hard to do. Last time I tried to do that, I almost broke my neck. Admittedly, I'm much larger and fatter than that kid, so that helps. Oh, stiff kick to the face. How about you, little bastard? The side of his skull. Wow, these commentators might be the worst in the history of wrestling. Oh, I, just, I shouldn't laugh, but it's quite funny. <laughs> it's like, ah. oh, hello. Look out. We're getting naked now, Mario. Oh, oh, what in the fuck? Right in the dick. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, that looked really low. That was, that was pretty low. Oh, look at him giving it the old fucking shimmy. Thinking this, this kid's got, seriously, this kid's got, he's got potential. He could be an NXT light. Oh, the overdrive? The NXT. Oh, the overdrive? Let's go. Hey. Hey. What is RJ Carnage doing? He has the match won. He should have just finished it right He should have just there. finished it right there. Now. Come on, RJ Carnage. Just, you know, amateur, amateur hour from you, son. What's he doing? Going for the Michinoku? No. Oh, got him up on the fall. Oh, he's counting the fall away. I don't think he did because the other guy was getting in the ring. I thought he dragged him up, didn't he? I think he was kind of starting to get up anyway. He's fucking commentating. That was like the world. That was kind of good. It was like really, like it was really low, but it was really snatched, so it was quite effective. That was a good kick. You can tell we're building towards the finish here, Michael. Dude, that, that, that was a good false too. Yeah. This is awesome. This is awesome. 
Look at the one black guy yeah. in the corner, just yeah. doing the, the clap. He's not doing the chant, he's just clapping. He looks like he's just like taken a like 15 minutes out of his working shift to chill out and watch this. <laughs> he's like, just, I'll just sit in the corner for a little bit and watch this crap. Code breaker! There you go, the best wrestler in the match, not even involved in the finish. That's how you protect him. Exactly. Yeah, Vince is where he said, ah, it's good fucking, I like that. You got potential on this business, kid. That was like a stutter, wasn't it? Kind of? That was actually really fucking good for shit bad guard wrestling. Like, yeah, I enjoyed that. But like, yeah, they actually were really good. I wouldn't want to follow that, but fuck you guys. <laughs> not follow her up. I'm just going to go out and do a shit ton of power bombs. I'm very disappointed nobody got suplexed onto a tombstone. And he's run off with the belt. Oh, look at that. That famous... <laughs> That's not bad camera work, to be fair. Probably the best mm -hmm. thing they did for the whole thing. What did you think of that, mate? I actually I enjoyed that a lot. Oh, like, yeah. oh my god, that was really good. Yeah, that kid made it to be fair for me. He really did. He was jokes. Um, not bad, not bad. I was gonna lambast you at the beginning for that, but that was actually good. So good choice for you, Mr. Wilkinson. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let us know what you think below. Do you think that these kids have potential on NXT? Um, <laughs> what do you think? What do you think of stuff like that? Also, I want to know your opinions. When you watch that, do you think that's disrespectful to the business? Or do you think, wow, it'd be so cool if these guys actually got proper training because then they might actually have the potential to be legitimate wrestlers for legitimate companies because they obviously have athletic potential, no question. So it'd be interesting to see what you guys think. Maybe I'm just too positive, but I feel like guys like that deserve an opportunity, especially a high-flying breader in there, Mr. Carnage. Um, so, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Can't say fairer than that. Uh, I've been Aaron X. He's been Carl Wilkinson. We'll catch you very soon for more content from the WrestleBlog.